So, Sunday was the day of the shocks at the 2018 World Cup, and they don't get much bigger than this bad boy. Germany losing to Mexico in Group F. We'll talk about that and more today's show. That's right, folks, back once again with another match review, this time looking back at the Group F encounter between probably the two favourites for this group, Germany and Mexico. Now, we'll get to that in just one second. If you are new to the channel, hit the all-subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. Little things World Cup related. Now, Germany, obviously, world champions. Uh, when you looked at this group, you thought, yeah, there's some difficult games in here, but they should kind of breeze past them and get nine points out of nine. And uh, I think all the other sides are looking at, the, at Germany thinking, if we can get something from this, that's a Brucey bonus. But Mexico, they smashed and grabbed and took all three points and got themselves a nice Brucey bonus and give them a good chance to get themselves out of this uh, group stages because Germany now need to up their game if they're going to uh, get back into the knockout stages and really give their title a good defence because right now they look, they look worryingly concerning because I think their midfield looked piss poor. But anyway, let's just take a look at the match in a little bit more detail. Obviously, 1-0 win for Mexico. Lozano with the goal... And it was, a, it, was a, it was a decent goal, but, but Germany just looked distinctly bland, I thought. Obviously, they were chucking everything at, the, at uh, Mexico towards the end of the match. But, but anyway, the match statistics are like this. Germany dominated possession with 67% compared to 33% for the victors. Mexico, 26 shots Germany threw at Mexico, only 13 uh, the other way around. As for shots on target, Germany had nine shots on target compared to four for Mexico. Eight corners for the world champions and one for Mexico. Ten fouls by Germany, 16 by Mexico. Now, how about the starting lineups? Uh, Captain Neuer was in between the sticks. Kimmich, Boateng, Hummels, Plattenhardt, Kadira, Kroos, Muller, Ozil, Draxler and Timo Werner up front. As for Mexico, Ochoa, Salcedo, Ayala, Marino, Gallardo, Herrera, Guadado, Leon, Vela, Lozano, the goal scorer, and Chicorito, Javier Hernandez up front. Now, um, this match, this, this has opened up this group massively now. Germany have got to, got to regain some some stink man they need to regain some stink because right now they are it's it's actually quite worrying i'm i'm a big obviously well it's not there anymore but i had a german t-shirt up there earlier and then i'm i'm a big admirer of germany and i want them to go far but at this minute i am a little bit concerned about them just a tad um because South Korea and Sweden, they ain't no pushovers. They know they're not Saudi Arabia. They're not a Panama, and they ain't no Nigeria. Because obviously, right now, Nigeria is one of the ones that I'm. I think they need to up their game. I think their performance was below par. But you know, the, these Sweden and South Korea, they're they're going to be tough nuts to crack. And right now, Germany need to need to f come back, and they need to come back in an explosive manner. It's the same with some of these other big boys. France need to need to show the world that they're a decent side. Argentina. Were piss poor and they only got point. Brazil recently just hot for press can only get a point against Switzerland. Some of these big boys are actually getting undone by some of the middle of the road nations. Now, no disrespect to Mexico, they're a decent side and they were always going to cause Germany problems. Uh, they have some electric pace on there and I'm very, very uh, excited to see them. And to be honest with you, I'd like to see Mexico go through initially. You know, my, that my, my opinion might change tomorrow when I see South Korea and Sweden in action, but they deserved it. To be honest with you, I think Germany were definitely second best today, um, and Mexico fully deserved three points. It, it would have been it would have been a travesty if they did not get anything from this game. But they they got it. They got them in a good position now in the group. But still a lot of football to be played, and they can't they cannot do this now. They cannot beat Germany and stutter against Sweden and, and South Korea. They need to they need to take this opportunity and run with it because they could top the group. And I know Group uh, E. Is on shaky ground right now after that Serbia, after the Brazil Switzerland game because if Mexico finish top and uh, they take on the runners up in Group E, it could be a Serbia, it could be a Switzerland, and that would then then they could be shouting at a chance at quarterfinal spot. But hey, let's not put the cart before the horse here. We got to get through to these uh, uh, round robin matches before we can start talking about knockout phases. But anyway, that's just a little bit what I think about this match. Let's bring in the older fans in and take a little listen to what they had to say. Oh God, Mexico won today. Oh, it was a great, it was a good game. Oh, that first half was ours. I think we played good first half. Lozano, Chicharro, Bella. 
think everybody was playing good. I was first. I was questioning the lineup he did. Like oh, I don't know if they're gonna beat him. They beat him. We are now celebrating the victory. Like they say on the news, it was a shocking. I knew I had faith on my Mexican team. I knew they were gonna come with everything. They were gonna come with everything to win it. People underestimated them, and it's good to see them win against the current champion. Now let's we gotta focus on Sweden, South Korea to to win first on the group. Hopefully we don't have to face Brazil because Brazil is gonna be hard too. We just proved that we beat the current team. I think we can beat Brazil. Brazil, Spain, France. I think we're going for the cup. I think we can do it. Not much that I can say. A bit devastating. I can be pretty sure about that, but a bit speechless. Mexico had a great game. To be honest, they had a great game. Like the tactic was good. Waiting for the waiting for the right moment to to take the counter attack. Part in the bus in the second half, but actually doing it quite well. Nothing to complain about. Like first, I want to say is like congratulations, congratulations to Mexico. I think they did it the right way. It's like. I had a big party here uh, during the German game and we're all kind of uh, devastated and uh, a bit sad, of course. We could do better, but um, I'd say as a German fan, the fear is getting bigger right now. We have remembers back to the European Championships in 2004. has a fear of losing of, of doing like really bad uh, at this World Cup all of a sudden hello even though we're considered the uh, even though we're considered the champions or like the one of the favorites but I said for Lozano's difficult he had quick feet he did it like really well against Kimmich in the beginning Kimmich did really well against Lozano I thought he had like he had a power against Lozano but then Lozano he did a quick turn and Kimmich looked bad against him but it's not Kimmich's bad it's like more Lozano's class so I'd say it's earned with the right tactic tactic it's earned for Mexico and good luck to my other opponent I, I don't remember his name but the guy from Mexico we talked and uh yeah, I could be happy for him and I hope we're doing better and I hope uh, if it goes really bad like Germany's going to play against Brazil in the in the first round and that's gonna be pretty bad. So uh we didn't want seven one. I don't believe we do, we can do it twice but we hope uh it'll go alright and we don't will uh quit in the first round. So that one result in Group F has done this to the table. Now Mexico will top the table uh, overnight until uh, Sweden and South Korea will duke it out in the early game on Monday morning. Now Germany, don't like this, bottom of the table in Group F. Their first opening day defeat at World Cup since 1982. So they all need to bring their A game when they take on Sweden. And that will take place on 23rd of June in the Fisher Olympic Stadium out in Sochi. As for the current leaders, Mexico will take on South Korea at the Rostov Arena out in Rostov on Don, also on the 23rd of June. So, so that's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, please hit the all subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup related. And I'm also on Twitter and I'm also on Facebook. Links to them puppies in the description below. Woo! So Germany, Germany, Germany. Well, this is this is this is um unexpected. You know, I I'm, I'm sure the majority of the audience out there, especially the neutrals, were expecting a dominant German performance. Despite their uh, despite their build up to the World Cup, you know, with the shaky performance against Saudi Arabia and the you know the, the iffy results in the friendlies, we all thought, yeah, that's just a, a, a training thing. They're testing out different formations, different personnel, and that kind of stuff. But Start the World Cup, you're supposed to be bringing your A game, you're supposed to be starting with the team that you think is going to go all the way, but today it looked 
average. I think they need to gut that midfield. Kadira needs to pull. Cruz, I think, was the only the shining light. Cruz was decent. Kadira looked off it. Um, Draxler, I don't know. I'm not, I, I, I don't think I'm, I like Drax. I, I want to like Draxler. It's like wine and a cup of tea. I want to like wine and I want to like tea and I want to like Draxler. But I've not seen anything that's gone, you know, he's all right. Uh, as for Ozil, I don't think he he uh, he he was a bit off today. Um, Muller, I like Muller. He can stay. Um, but yeah, it just needs a big old revamp. A real little, little, you know, chuck some of these youngsters on there, give him a chance, and uh, maybe he's kind of uh, wishing that he didn't leave Liborzana now because he could have been a, an explosive thing from the bench. But anyway, that's we're just spinning stuff here. It could all come out in the wash, and Germany will end up top of this group. And then they can continue on in the nice merry way into the knockout phases. But it just gives the, the, the element of doubt now until the 23rd of June when they take on um, Sweden in the next game. So until then, between now and then, there's going to be some sleepless nights, I'm sure, from the German fans, the German, German staff and the German players. Because they need to bring it and get themselves back on track. Because right now, they're headed out. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you are interested in that Cast the Cat app, you want to hit that button right there. It'll send you over to my WordPress site where you can find a downloadable link. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, hit that magical button right there. This is your one-stop shop for the 2018 World Cup. I've also got old previews and reviews that you can check out down there. And also, let me hear your thoughts and opinions. Whack them in the comments section below, and I will see you all very, very soon.